and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Burn Aggro. We played this deck the other day and did well with it and uh, wanted to give it another shot because uh, I remember we did not play against any Ezreal decks the last time we, we played this and that's what I built this deck um, to do is to beat the Ezreal decks and, and beat the control decks uh, with control being a little bit more popular. However, that doesn't mean you always play against control. It kind of seems to, to go in uh, waves, and these last couple of decks that we've played to fight control haven't really played versus control. Anyway, this this deck, this is um, a really good deck to level up with because it is a very fast deck, and uh, the games are pretty interesting. And it's, it's, you know, it's trying to kill the opponent as fast as possible, but basically get as much damage in as possible and use actual burn spells to finish it off. So we have lots and lots of direct damage because, you know, so many people are ready for creatures these days. You know, like also like the spider decks um, are kind of everywhere and like they're ready to like going wide isn't really what you want to be doing these days uh, with, you know, static shocks and withering whales and uh, brood awakenings and all that kind of stuff everywhere. And so I want to just be doing direct damage upstairs. So that's what these cards do. You know, Legion Saboteur. Teemo giving the puff caps that do direct damage, Boom Crew Rookie, Legion Grenadier, Mystic Shot, Get Excited, Used Cast Salesman, Jump Bump gets Mushroom Clouds that do direct damage, Decimate. All those cards can do direct damage to their Nexus. Um, even Blade's Edge too. Forgot about that one too. So that's, that's what I designed this deck to do. And I think this is a really good uh, rank up deck, especially how, how short the games are. And so we're going to go right into it. We're going to go play our five games. Um, and let's go. So if you're, you know, if you're in like, you know, silver or anything like that, and you want to play a, a quick rank up deck, this is a good one. The The one thing about this deck, though, is it can, it can lose to other aggro decks that can put more pressure and uh, dominate the battlefield since we have cards like Decimate. Um... So that can be a problem. No one drop. But good two drops. I guess I'll just get rid of Decimate. Like, you would probably just mulligan that card when it's in your opener all the time. Here we go. Puppy jumped. Puppy jumped up here. Get some damage in. We, we shall not rest until all of it's ready. The, the guilty will suffer. So the main the main question is if we go straight to attacks or if we play Draven first. Usually we play Draven first, of course, but I honestly think we just go straight to attacks. Yeah, I think we just go straight to attacks. Not let them cast, like, Brood Awakening or anything else. Better run! So they're down to nine. And we have six points of direct damage in our hand. Where's my axe? I don't need to like mystic shot the Callista. The yeah, if they would have just played Shadow Assassin, obviously it would have been better to play these first. I was kind of expecting like Brood Awakening would have been annoying. We do want to empty our hand for the Augmented Experimenter, too.
This is gonna hurt for you. This is a little risky. But if this works, it takes it takes two of their creatures out of out of play. And um yeah, makes this makes this attack a lot better, of course. And also it just keeps me from, from taking a lot of damage, so it's gonna take them longer to, to kill me, and the longer it takes for them to kill me, the easier it is for me to finish the game off with burn spells. Uh yeah, they can draw two. Again, normally I'd be going upstairs, but I guess if we do two, do two to the Shadow Assassin, that means the rear guard does three to them, right? Because they don't block the rear guard. Mind. Well, I mean, it's still, still be blocking the other one. That could have been a mistake. Don't mind me. Okay, ready. Time to go. GGs. All right, one and L. Burn, David, burn. Let's go burn aggro. See, good five-minute games. But, like, you know, good amount of decisions to make in the game. It's not like... You know, like, with the back and forth of, like, when to cast stuff, when to go to attacks, you know, how to sequence everything. It's a good amount of decisions to make in those five games, or the, those five minutes. In like five turns or so. Clever boy. Definitely getting rid of the four drop. The blade's edge. I don't know. I could, you know, it's like take or leave. I'm not sure if I should be keeping that or not. Everything's in place. I'm glad we got rid of it. Just go straight to attacks and do nine. Try to do nine damage. You'll never see it coming. Dang. That's a lot of damage. Pledge yourself to the shadows. <laughs> All right, I'll play the grenadier. That's a really good blocker. Obviously, I could Mystic Shot this, but I'll Mystic Shot them. Oh, I'm glad I didn't Mystic Shot that. It's a good call not Mystic Shotting that thing. Is it Draven or Rookie? Rookie means we have six direct damage. You can also just not block. But, uh, of course I'm ready. All right. 
2-0. No. You don't have a play turn 1 and 2 against this deck. That can be rough. As we saw that game. So even with turn 3, Zed. Alright, unlocked. Diamond chest. Shards 15. And shards 15. Hey, there's a common that I needed. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog and Runeterra. One thing about aggro decks, though, that especially the kind of deck that I'm playing right now, one thing, one big mistake that people make. Alright, so now we're at Noxus. Leveling the rest of these up to 20. Um, and looks like we're already at 19, so. I think one one uh, very, very common mistake that people make when playing um, a deck like this is that, you know, it's, it's the fast aggro and you're thinking, okay, well, I want, like, the fast games. And so then they play too fast and uh, make a decision that, that costs them because they just play too fast and... and you know, to lose. And bec because, like, these games are over in, like, five turns, each decision that you make is, is like, really important in, like, those five turns. And so, even though your deck is fast, you don't want to play too fast. If, hopefully that makes sense. That's, that's one thing you want to... If you're playing this deck, don't just throw everything out all the time and, and play super fast and just expect them to be dead. Explosives prime. Alright, so that's a good start. We got to be the attacker on turn one. Alright, let's play the rookie. You know, if they had a lease, I would have play been playing Grenadier, but they don't, so we're going to have the rookie. And we'll go straight to combat again. Oh man, drawing Teemo makes that difficult to go straight to combat. I mean, again, this is, it's probably Brood Awakening. Like, so like... If I play Grenadier, they could play Brood Awakening and then block all this stuff. Like this, this is definitely a Brood Awakening deck. So I'm sorry, Teemo. I mean, they could also have you know Withering Whale, Grass of the Undying, that kind of stuff. Better run. Probably not Grass, but probably Withering Whale. Which Withering Whale is tough. It's a tough card to to beat. And there it is. Yep, there it is. So play that other 3 1, give them another target. mind having the the salesman block there but i want to again just go right to combat so five six mana play this and this and then next turn i play that Two. I may be casting this experimenter, which means we would be discarding the salesman. That seems silly. Salesman does two damage. That seems silly. Two puff caps? Oh, Teemo, you're getting us there. 
Well, we drew the Blade's Edge. Another point of damage. Won't find better this side of the sun. All right, GG's. 3-0, 15 minutes. Five minutes a win. This deck's good. We haven't even faced the control decks. I do really like our chances against the control decks with all this direct damage. Also, we haven't faced them yet. We're still 3-0. This looks like a control deck. Ionia, P and Z. Yep. So I'll be sad if we lose this. You know, it doesn't mean that we're absolutely going to win, obviously. But I'll be sad if we lose it. Now that I was saying I built this for control. It's my first time playing against Ezreal, so... It's what we built the deck to face. Let's see how it does. We're not attacking turn one. This would have been a really good game to attack turn one with Draven on three. Damn it. But it looks like we would not have dealt any damage on one. Get him, rookie. Big mission. I know it's your first big mission. You name it, I'll make it. I don't like this attack. I think we get the two points of damage in, though. Because if they have if they have removal from my Boom Crew rookie, that's really rough. Our last three draws of being four drop, four drop, six drop haven't helped any matters. Okay, good, because I was really worried about them using removal on the Boom Crew Rookie, and then they attack in, and I have to block with Draven. What you looking for? Burning Set down, down the goods house. On this one. Oh, well, I guess that's still the case. Well, I didn't do anything. I'm not giving them free spells. Just, you know, basically treat them as... Two mana removal there. I got ways to find in mushrooms. Silent as death. <laughs> it's too late for you. <sighs> Only gotten two points of damage in so far. But we have three more cards in them. Ezreal's only gotten one target. And I have a 4 1 creature in play. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I play this, we go to 10. And then we play a, a Mushroom Cloud so we get to draw our next card. I want to give them all these mushrooms so that just over, you know, like all these draws, I want them drawing the mushrooms over time. Um, honestly, not really, Josh. No, I can't, I can't really think of anything. Anything that's changed in my opinion of the game since whenever I first started playing. Thought highly of it then, I still think highly of it now. That was a great turn for them, but of course all five turns so far have been great turns for them. I should have used my spinning axis here. Make this a two a two one. I 
I should have used the spinning axes there. I I meant to. It's just, yeah, I clicked okay for the mystic shot, and then I was going to afterwards, but obviously that's too late. <clears throat> Once you click okay for the mystic shot, it just goes and does everything. So Ezreal is now at 6 out of 8. I'm kind of glad we didn't do that now, because now I have a card to discard to get excited. I got 19 puff caps. I should have played the missing shot. They're down to 10. Need to get everything out of my hand, so I draw three. Draw three more burns. Yeah, we don't play any any units for them to target. Can't target stuff. All right, another puff cap damage. Um. I like to keep them get excited because it kills Karma and Ezreal, but they're not really showing any willingness of playing Karma or Ezreal. Main question is, do I play Legion Saboteur first? And I, I mean, I guess we do, even though that, that gives them another target for Ezreal, but we are going to give them a target for Ezreal anyway with the Augmented Experimenter, so it's not that big a deal. We just gotta do seven more points. Our puff cap should help us out. I'm hoping they don't have a second deny. I would like them to play Karma right now, that'd be cool. Really hoping they don't have a second deny and we get to draw. Draw three, draw three, draw three. That's a cool little trick. Now we discard it. Ezreal is leveled up. But I don't think they can do 20 damage to us with these few number of cards. At least it's not likely. Like, how are they supposed to have removal for all this stuff? Just all this direct damage. They had, like, the... You know, like, they they started perfectly with this game. They didn't have... Like, they haven't played Karma or Ezreal, but besides that, like, they started absolutely perfect. Right but our deck can just get so much... So much damage. How do they stop it?
they're going down to two. They didn't kill the grenadier, so they're still alive. Just for a little bit. This game's over, though. They can't win with just one card and one other card. Oh, no. Buff caps didn't finish them off. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Four and O. Oh. Outlast and Ezreal. That that was a thing of beauty. That's exactly what uh, we want. That's exactly why I put the deck together. Just to get all that damage in. We didn't even do like we didn't do that much damage through creatures. Um I think we did, well, like, five damage through creatures, maybe. Like, that's it. And the other 15 were just direct damage from burn spells or puff caps. Aw, uh, thanks, Boot. Yeah, it's a good game. All right, their deck goes a little bigger than us. That can be a problem. We're attacking one and three. Okay, get a two drop. No. So I like, we're gonna be playing Draven on our turn three, but then Salesman on, on turn four to be able to have blockers. Like Salesman's a nice card. It's really good in matches where both players have slash need blockers. Hey Hada. What's up, Sanctuary Tank? This is me being... Maybe I just like Teemo too much. Like, probably should play the thing that it attacks for three on turn one and not the thing that attacks for one on turn one. But if we would have played Rear Guard, they would have just blocked, so we would have dealt zero damage. It actually wor it worked out perfectly with them having that one drop. All right, so playing playing Draven, worst case scenario is they have a uh, Bright Steel Protector, but that's a two drop that they could have played already. This is looking good. <laughs> Break their spirit and their soul. Well, I guess that's kind of a kind of a bad case scenario, I guess, Lauren Protege. <laughs> Have nothing in, they have nothing in play we still have draven and they're at 15. that's all right Do it, Hada. Yeah, craft Teemo. Yeah, you get this deck and the mushroom deck. I have my orders. Do it, craft some Teemos. Watch and learn. It just it just pains you to 
to just go to attacks first, but it's the right thing instead of letting them play more more waver. units. But I really want to play Teemo. It's painful. Defend our banner. Get to use their mana on a repost. Alright, but they're at three life. Get some puff caps. Timo's. For king and country. Timo's probably not the card that you want to draw. Break their ranks. Another day in the it's probably not the card that we want to draw like late game. That hurts. Now they get to, you know, now Garen's leveled up, they get to rally. That was a great turn for them. Uh, we just gotta find just a little bit more damage. Just a little bit more. Come on, Puff Caps. There we go, that'll do. Attack for one first. No. Alright, the game's not over yet. I've got your back. First one's free. They get to attack next turn, remember. Uh, one puff cap. They got about a one third of their deck is puff caps. Puff cap, yeah. That puff cap detonated on puppy. The puff cap. It's a puff cap, puppy. Can't quite see puppy. There she is. The puff cap. It's a puff cap. She's like, what are you saying? Five O, five O pup cap. GG's, Timo. All right, so there we go. Like this, I really like this deck. I think it's a good deck. I think it's, you know, like I think it's a very good level up deck. Um, you know, you want to rank, you know, if you're ranking up, you want as many games as possible. Like I said there during like the second game or so, um, just because you're playing a fast deck and uh, your games will be fast doesn't mean that you should necessarily play fast. Make sure you kind of take your time, think about your decisions, uh, make sure, you know, think about your sequencing and, and, you know, plan like a turn ahead and everything because the game, you know, all your decisions matter a lot because the game only usually goes five, six, seven turns. Um, with Chump Wump, if you're used to playing Chump Wump with like Ezreal decks, you're probably used to just holding on to like the Mushroom Clouds and you know waiting for you to like discard the mushroom clouds to get excited and stuff like that that's not really this deck this deck you want to give them the the puff caps a couple of reasons one it, it can uh help flip teemo but two really the the earlier they have puff caps that means the more cards they're going to draw before the game ends and the more cards they draw before the game ends with them having puff caps in their deck the more likely they are to draw them and those points of damage can like they really matter as we saw there that last game you know, we dealt two damage with puff caps with Teemo, and those two damage were the difference. Um, <clears throat> and of course, the salesman, you usually try to play this defensively, as you saw like that last game. Try to play it before they attack and uh, get some really good blockers with this. 
All right, but yeah, that there we go. That's burn aggro. Good 5-0 over in Masters and uh, a really good quality deck. All right, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave a comment. Let me know if you're playing this deck yourself, how it's going for you, and you know, have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave them over there. And of course, uh, if you would like to see your deck on stream and a YouTube video made with your deck, it's just a $10 donation. The donation link is down below. We had a couple of donation decks earlier today. Um, just put in your deck list code that you want me to play. Or if you want me to build a deck, you know, just tell me what to build around and I'll do that. <clears throat> um, yeah, why not Shadow Teemo? We could do Shadow. We could play a Shadow Teemo deck. Could do that. All right, but anyway, that's Burn Aggro. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.